Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 44. To start off, let's go to File, New, New Part, and a new part template will be opened. This is our workspace, and let's go to the sketch and select the sketch tool. And as we uh, take the sketch tool, we'll be getting three planes from which we can start the plane. Uh, we can start the sketch. So I would prefer to start the sketch with the top plane. So click on the top plane and let's start doing the sketch. So let's create two circles. Concentric circles one over here as well and let's dimension the circle that'll be 36 diameter and this will be 60 and here it will be 32 and this will be 12 and the distance between these two circles will be 120 so 120 let's exit the sketch now and rotate the view a little bit and let's select one control two oops press the escape key select the first circle control select the second and now we can go for features and what is the height of this? That is 44. That will be extrude 22 each on both sides. 22. Double enter to confirm that. And let's go to the sketch here. And press the show button and select control select these two sketches and let's go to the extrude and this time the thickness is 12 6 each on both sides double enter will confirm that all right so till now I have shown you that always I've created a sketch and I have uh, exited the sketch and then gone for the features so in this case we had done something different we have created one sketch and out of that we have selected the sketch that we would like to use the features for and then apply the feature so to do this in Ketia it's a entirely different process we have to go for multi pad and do it so in SOLIDWORKS we don't have to specially do anything um, we have to exit do the sketch exit the sketch and then select the sketches that we would like to apply the features for and then apply it so moving ahead we'll create this support here so go to the sketch once again and select the plane that you would like to start the sketch so that'll be top plane and uh, select the line and draw a line Control select and go for tangent. Tick mark. Select this line in this circle here. Go for tangent. Tick mark. Select the circle portion and then go for convert entities. And you can use the extend entities and extend this to this. 
and also extend entities and extend this line oops okay select the circle and go for convert entities and then go for extend entities and just extend all right trim entities and trim this portion oops let's uh, do one thing select this line here and what we're going to do is we have to mirror this line with respect to this axis so let's first create an axis here from the center point to the center point we can create an axis select the line here and go for mirror entities and select this mirror about as this axis and then click on the tick mark that will confirm that and finally we can go for the trim entities and trim the portion that you would love you would not like to do any uh, or you would not want to consider it for the sketch so we have a clean sketch now this is a closed sketch here exit the sketch now and then okay it's not a closed sketch there's something that's problematic here as I see here there is a extended portion that we can just simply trim it off now if you see it's a completely completely closed sketch except the fact that uh, this line is not looking like it's fully constrained so there is some problem here that you can see that here so select this circle and this line here and go for tangent click on the tick mark and as we see the sketch now it's a fully constrained sketch so as I've told before before we exit the sketch it's a good practice to always see whether the sketch is fully constrained by checking its color the color should be uniformly black exit the sketch now and then you can go for features and extra boss and base select the sketch here go for features extra boss and base and the thickness should be six so that will be three on both sides three and three on both sides double enter and finally we need to create a support here so to give that support as we see we can just hover the mouse all around to see which plane will be suitable to the sketch so in this case it will be front plane as we click on that front plane we have the sub option to select or do whatever we would like to do in this case we'll go for the sketch and I'll go for the line here and simply draw a line across didn't come properly so I'll just drag it out and I'll select this line and this line here and go for convert entities and also select that line and this line here and go for construction for construction here so that will not be considered for this sketch finally select this point and this point go for merge and also select this point and this point and go for merge All right now what is to be done I can just simply select this and go for convert entities and then select the line from here and draw it downwards and just place it here also you can draw another line here just drag it outwards downwards you can simply go for trim entities and trim these portions which is not required and now as we see the color of the sketch it's still blue so it's something that okay this is not constrained so it's simple to constrain that you just have to make sure that this point and this point is merging once in tick mark and now it's fully constrained now you can simply exit the sketch and go for extrude boss and base We'll again face a challenge here, which I'll be discussing in a couple of minutes. So, three and three on both sides. Okay, rebuild error. You're unable to create this feature because it would be zero thickness. Okay, there is some opening in the sketch. So, we need to find out where it is. We can just zoom in a little bit and see where exactly we are facing the problem. Uh, it seems to be good, but... Mm, saying that there is a rebuild error okay let's just analyze the sketch edit sketch 
this is closed and here also it's closed and sketch seems to be fine so control 8 to bring the sketch normal what we can do is as you can see here there is a small gap right so to fill this gap what we can do is we can select the line here and just draw a little inwards right and select this and go for for construction let's see if it works and then I'll explain you why I did this I'll go for sketch here select this line here and go for for construction exit the sketch now and now you can just simply try to select that sketch there and go for extrude boss and base now it works now I'll explain you why I did, why I did that as you can see here previously our sketch was ending here so when we do an extrude we'll be able to see that there is a gap that would be creating here so if I just extrude a little more maybe a 6 we'll be able to see from the top that this was my sketch ending previously there is a gap that's getting created here so in CAD CM when we do this it doesn't throw an error later we find this error and then we extend and we fix it in SOLIDWORKS it's not like that so the SOLIDWORKS software doesn't allow you to uh, create some um, solid object which uh, creates this kind of error so that's fine in both ways it's good so the thing is that when uh, SOLIDWORKS throws this kind of error we need to just find out or we need to understand that okay this is why this, uh, the software is throwing the error so let me th give three on both sides uh, three on this side as well all right if I just take it we will see that there is no gap in between and also the the uh, solid that I've added here has already been added uh, to this model so it doesn't make any difference so same goes here as you can see there's no problem here it's perfect so we cannot see the other side of this if we need we can also just select this model here and go for mirror and we can uh, mirror it with respect to the top lane and tick mark so I cannot assure you that there is a part here but usually if it's a symmetric part there will be a part there so all right and we need to create this portion as well right so which would be a good good face to start with so I think top plane would be great I'll click on the top plane and what I would do next would be just create a uh, random set of lines and also select this line and go for convert entities select these two lines here go for tangent tick mark select these two lines here and go for tangent tick mark finally you can use a trim command trim these unwanted portions Control middle mouse button to pan and finally we can just give the dimension for this so that would be this is 28 I'll give 28 also I'll just simply select or create a center line here and select this line control this line and select this axis and go for symmetric tick mark and this length would be from the 
from this point to this line will be 10 so we'll just key in that value as well as you can see that sketch is fully constrained I'm not seeing whether I have taken all the values in that so it doesn't matter for me as long as the sketch is fully constrained and as long as the input values are taken from the drawing then I don't mind as the sketch is fully constrained and if it's showing black I'll just exit the sketch and move forward all right now I'll go for extrude bosom base and this total height will be 14 plus 14 28 so it's 14 on both sides that'll be 14 and 14 double enter to confirm that all right finally we have to drill a hole here so we'll just select that face and go for the sketch simply go for the circle and create a circle there all right now I'll just simply give the diameter for the hole as 10 exit the sketch again and go for extrude cut up to next we'll do the trick double enter we'll confirm that and that's it so that's about this model this was fairly a simple model that can be done by a beginner and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and also try going to the previous tutorials exercises and try doing the exercise as we do as many exercises as possible we get uh, more command over the software and also we get to perform well in the projects or whatever we are into so each exercises we learn something new so that's the whole point of doing all, all these exercises uh, and uh, sharing it with my subscribers hope you enjoyed subscribe share and Stay tuned. Thank you.